Okay, uh, thank you, the ladies and gentlemen, for attending this workshop. Uh, can I have attention for a while? Okay, we're going to start the workshop on time uh, for the very reason that because we want to cultivate good habits of uh, being punctual. <laughs> and I see that a large majority of you are here. I mean, uh, the, the room is more than half filled already. So I will start on time. Okay, so for uh, this workshop, it's a four day workshop. So the end goal is we will end up being able to create simulations in JavaScript. And uh, today with me, uh, I'm, uh, you can call me Lawrence if it's uh, easier, Lawrence from uh, ETD. Uh, with me, we have uh, Tzu Kuang from CBDD. Tzu Kuang, can you? Uh, yeah. So if you have any problems, we are the go-to people and uh, we are very privileged to have <laughs> Professor Felix with us also. Uh, Felix, yeah. So he is the, the, he is the man behind the, the JavaScript library that allows us to generate simulations ready for today's handphone devices. Okay, so he's the man, so remember his face. <laughs> if you need any help, uh, more, more difficult stuff, easy stuff, you can look for me. Okay, more difficult one, you have to look for Professor Felix. Okay, so uh, just to give you a big overview, today, uh, you can see the part. Yeah, yeah, good. Okay, so just to have some house rules, uh, you, you probably, some of you are repeat, repeat uh, participants, you know where the toilet is. Uh, it's all the way straight, okay? And uh, lunch is not provided, but we'll have tea breaks uh, in the morning as well as in the afternoon, okay? Now, um, um, let me just uh, start off by saying, uh, show you what is the end goal. Uh. So in this four day workshop, end of the day, you will produce something quite high quality, I hope. <laughs> because, uh, and, and let me show you what you can possibly do. Okay, these are the, these are the web pages I want you to go to uh, right now in your machine, okay? So if you can uh, go to this uh, URL, okay, I provided you the URL. You just type open source physics at Singapore. Uh, you should be able to come to this page that looks like that. Okay, let me just... Uh, Okay, you just type open source physics or something like that, huh? OSP at SG, and you should have no difficulty coming to the blog. Okay? And in this blog, you will be able to see uh, today's uh, program. So you can skip all the way back uh, to. Remember in the email, I sent you a, a day zero installation list. So in this list, you can download all the various tools that we will do throughout the four days. You do not need all of them, uh, obviously, but it is good to have all of them because uh, if you want to create an e-book, you need to have your handphone, you need to have some validator and all that. So this is, the, this is the list of software that you should have in your machine. And it is strongly recommended that you use your own uh, laptop because uh, as Zhu Kuang found out, uh, just now, MOE's uh, laptop cannot run. Uh, the files are, are considered uh, malicious, so they will block the, the application. So you really need your own device. Uh. So to, in today's context, uh, as teachers, we always tell our students, well, bring your own device. Okay, I'll teach you using di di digital ways. And indeed, now we are the recipient of the same... <laughs> Uh, words of wisdom. We have to use our own device now in order to do uh, wonderful simulations uh, that is uh, that we will learn in these four days. Okay. Okay. Let me uh, before I start, I would like to show you the end goal because at the end of the four days, you might be wondering, okay, what am I here for? Let me just quickly show you what you can get. Uh, okay. In your in your thanks to my colleagues in this uh, wonderful uh, establishment called the Adulab at AST. Uh, Jack and Uncle Neo, they have uh, already installed some of the materials for you. So you only need to see that you have this uh, this web store. This. Can you open up your Chrome browser now? Okay, your Chrome browser, okay, only Chrome. Uh. So Chrome, uh, click on the button here. When you, when you first launch your Chrome, there will be this little button here on the top left corner. It says Apps. Click on it. Okay, and you check that you have these two software. One is called Redium, the other one is called uh, Redator. 
if you don't have Lithium will do as well. Okay. But I like I like this one because you do not need administrator rights to install it. Okay. So how do you get this particular software? You just come to the Chrome store, you just type EPUB3. Okay? EPUB3. And it will be the second and the third software. Click on it. Click on it to add to Chrome. Okay? And it will be available to you uh, as one of the icons here. Okay? And I want to show you how you can get the latest ebook that I have. Okay, now you can go to a website. Uh, so again, how do you get to this uh, website? Okay, you type uh, OSP and SG again, right? Okay. And you will find that there is something here. Uh, the second and the third will do. So let's say you look at the second one. Okay. And within this website, you go to interactive resources. You can see that we have uh, we are trying to conquer as many, we're trying to cover as many subjects as we can, meaningfully. But uh, because uh, most of us are physics teacher, I think, so physics will be the main uh, topic of conversation. So physics, Newtonian mechanics, and you go to oscillations. Okay, click on this. And the ebook. You can see that this is a very nice page. I took a lot of uh, time to, to create these pages. Okay? And it's all animated G, so that it's, it gives you a very good glance of uh, some of the materials that we have. Uh, but the ebook is actually on the first article. So click on the first article. And it should be available to you okay, as a first download link. Okay, click on this link. Okay, it will be the latest with the enhancement and it will have a download somewhere down there. Let's say I download it again. Huh? Okay, so you're downloading it. Okay. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, how, how about this? Uh, if you can't follow, this, this is okay. This one is just a show and tell. If you cannot follow, let me just show you the beautiful things that, that we can do today. Then after that, we go to the EJS, Authoring Toolkit, which you must do. Okay, that one you want to. Now you want to, if you cannot follow, it's fine. Uh, because uh, we don't have a lot of time. Uh, I, I want to do a lot of things. So. <laughs> okay, so in, in the medium, uh, in the readium, once you have downloaded it, you just drag this file inside here and it will open up like this and you just click on it. And you can see that uh, it opens up with the table of content and all the simulation. Because it is a single file of 24 meg. So it is packed with all the text as, the, as well as the simulation. And this you can give it to your students. You can keep it in your handphone. It is yours to keep. Okay? So you can see that I can now come here. I hope it works. You can interact with it. So some of us are in the lecture system. You know, when you do lectures with material like this, uh, it will be extremely useful because the concept automatically will be easy to illustrate as opposed to uh, static pictures and text. Okay. So this is the end goal. The end goal is to create one or two simulations in an ebook, which then you can distribute to your students. And once you have that little sense of success with your student, I believe you will find the motivation to do more. Okay. Or else it will, it will not be so... Uh, you will find it very daunting to, to carry on. So I want to show you the end goal, okay? Simulation with some text. Okay? Simulation with some text, you can even put the SOI inside, learning experiences and all that. Okay, okay so are we clear on what's the out outcome at the end of four days? Okay, yeah. Okay. Now um, according to the email I sent you, you should be able to find that you have installed EJS. If you have not, I recommend you download it now onto your own device. Now EJS, on, if you're using the default machines here provided by Edulab AST, it is in the D drive. So you need to navigate to the D drive. Okay? Open up a window explorer. Okay? Go to D drive. Easy Java simulations. Double click. Look for the version that looks like the one that you want to use. So typically, I like to use the latest. 1103. 
Which one? This one? 16. 1, 1, 0, 3. Yeah. 16, 11 is not, it's not the latest. Uh. 3, 11. Huh? 11 is uh, November. <coughs> oh, it's December. Okay, okay, I see you. Okay, it's not labelled properly, is it? Yeah, yeah. December, December. December. Hey, it's November or November? The, the, the latest <laughs> my brain from the see. website. <laughs> la, I don't yeah, know yeah, where November, you are. November. I was thinking of December, which is too, too far ahead. Yeah, yeah. Holiday so double click. Ah. Okay. Now you will see three folders and a file. Okay, double click on this file. Okay, and because your machine has Java uh, runtime, okay, it should launch. Okay, so slowly but surely, a console will appear. Okay, you should see the same thing. Ah. Okay, now I have to really make sure that you can uh, follow. Ah. Just now the earlier one was a show and tell, just to wow you. <laughs> Many workshops. So you need to accept, just click OK. Okay? Whenever in doubt, just say OK. <laughs> okay? Are we okay now? Okay, now I want you to do this thing. This is very important. Huh? Okay, this is very important. Come to the console. You will notice that yours is green color. Am I right? Can I just have a show of hand? Yours is a green color tab here. Okay, mine is blue. Now you need to come to the console, which is the thing that's at the back. Look at the first tab. I want you to check this programming language. I want you to select JavaScript. This is the, the future. <laughs> the future of simulation. I want you to choose JavaScript. Okay. And then, what do you do? You close it again. And say yes. Okay. Yeah, choose JavaScript. Okay, and then you double click again. Then now you should launch uh, EJS in the Java script flavor. Just agree, just open. Just, just agree, just okay. Just okay again. The names on this, you don't have to fill it okay. Then go to uh, the console, the basic options. Then go to change to Java, script. Then close. No need, no need, no need. Then close. Then agree. Then click on the get it. Machine cannot run the JSA. Okay. Do you have to drop it? Okay. Launch this. Uh, check in the last time right? I, I, no, I was, uh, after yeah. I installed Windows 10, I should do the JDK. Yeah. 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 My machine cannot run. Because, like this one, right? Run because I think when I double click, right? Uh -huh. I think something is missing. Uh. Try to. You don't have Java. Go and install Java. Java now. <laughs> okay. Now you will you will face this problem when you try to do this at home. Okay. Uh, like like if you use your own machine, a brand new machine, Windows does not package Java with it. So you need to go to Java website and, and download the Oracle and download the, the latest. Uh, runtime library. Uh, then you can run uh, the toolkit that we're using because it is written in Java. Okay? Okay? Any other question? Okay, if not, okay, this is the first thing I want you to do. Now, one of the main criticisms uh, of what I do here today is that it is difficult. Okay? I'm not going to sell you any. For you, I'm telling you, it is quite difficult. But the professors have already tried to make it quite easy. So if you have an idea of how it can be easier, please let them know. 
Okay, they will be appearing today. I mean, the, the two of them are appearing the next few days, the next three days. But Felix is here today. Okay. So the first thing I want you to do is this. Okay. If you look at the tutorial that I have listed up, huh, I believe I wanted you to come to this place called a model. Okay. If I remember my, if I'm wrong, let me know. Huh. You have my blog post. Uh, then you come to evolution. Okay. And from evolution, I want you to click on the second tab because the second tab says click to create a page of ODE. ODE stands for Ordinary Differential Equations. Okay, so click on it. Then, like I said again, okay, agree to whatever the tool prompts you because I don't think you are. You are that particular at this point in time. Yes, you may want to rename it eventually, but I think that's a separate for the time being. Okay? Because you just want to get things going, to get you excited. Okay? Now, once you come here, okay, it will prompt out something that looks familiar to mathematics uh, teachers. So this one is called independent variable. So I want you to come here, click, select T, T for time. Okay? And increment. Because this is a modeling workshop, so everything is in variables. So we need to declare something, maybe say delta t. So it's dt. Okay? Okay? So with these two steps, okay or not? It will be in pink. It will be in pink. Yeah, correct. And uh, the next thing I want you to do is this. Uh, I want to create, if you have read my blog post ahead, uh, like what Kim Kia has done. Okay. It's a soccer ball uh, game engine that we are going to build. So it is a uh, constant speed. So I want you to come here, double click. So anything you're not sure, just double click or click. Okay. Then down here, I want you to type in uh, X. Okay. Because, and then enter. And EJS is clever enough to know that the variable is on the numerator is X, and then therefore it will take the T and divide it. And then this will be the differential equation. And I want you to double click here and change it to Vx. Okay, for obvious reason, huh? velocity in the x direction. Okay, so similarly, you can do it for y, and this will be Vy. Okay. Now you have in that short 30 seconds of clicking, huh? you have created the engine for your simulation. Okay, you can already tell if, if your mathematics. Uh, can do some predicting. This is actually a constant speed model, okay, and it can move in x and y direction. Okay, I, I just walk around. Okay, then uh, you can try to generate this. Okay, and it will ask you to save your file. Okay, which you must uh, you must do so. I'm going to use the default name. It's called unnamed. Okay, I'm just going to accept it. Okay, save it in the default location which is source. Okay, and the, the immediate feedback that you get from the software is there is no HTML view. Okay, so EJS is built with uh, certain checks. So if it's pink color, that means it doesn't know what it is. And if you try to run it, it'll tell you what are the problems. So then you must debug it. Okay, so let me just click OK. I want you to come to HTML view and then again here says click to create so I'm just going to click and create okay, and EJ will try to run a preview, close the preview and I want you to see that uh, there is something here called a plotting panel okay. click on it, let go the mouse Move it to the side, it becomes a magic wand. Okay? And then drop it here. Click. And then it automatically populates it with some stuff. Okay? Can you do one to this part? Which one? Uh, this one? Click. And then uh, just drop it into the. Yeah, the, the, yeah correct. Does it work? Okay, good.
So these are actually in programming, uh, in pra programming, these are called, even in tractor, it's called variable, right? Var you need to define variable. We teach physics students, but variable is important. Okay, so now, this is a computer <laughs> variable. Okay, come to variable, <coughs> click on it, accept whatever name it is called. Okay, now I want you to go and figure out, okay, recall. What are some of the things we, we thought was necessary for our constant speed 2D model? All these things are not understood. They must be declared in the simulation. Okay? So first thing, uh, what will be a, a, a variable that needs to be defined? So time. Okay, I use time. Then I also have double click. I also have delta T. I also have uh, Vx. Oh, sorry, V first. Huh? Uh, x first, then y, then uh, vx, then vy. Okay? Then if you try to run a simulation, okay, again the view will be not complete. Okay? So you notice that in addition to defining variables, there's something called initial value. <coughs> Sometimes in, uh, in simulations, if the initial state is not defined, the computer program does not know where to put the object. So you need to give it a position. So this one typically I will call it zero. Zero. Uh, delta T, I will use the default value, which is 0 0.05. Okay. And I will make it zero. Zero. Maybe this one I want to make it... Uh, 0 0.5, I want to keep this 0. Okay? Why, why did I make this 0 0.5? Because I want to make the simulation move to the right. Okay? A positive velocity in the x direction will result in the object moving to the right. And why do I choose 0 for velocity in y? Because I want it to not move up and down. Okay, so here uh, provides a very simple way for you to control the initial position, the initial states of some of these variables. Okay. Now, when you click play, I hope some magical things appear. Oh, nothing appears. Okay, nothing appears. Uh, the reason is because, but the good news is at least you got it to work. Wow, this looks like something that you can actually work with. <laughs> you know, it has some numbers, uh, some click button which actually can be clicked. You know. But the numbers are not generating. So the next thing you need to do is you have to minimize the page. Minimize the page. Now you notice that uh, it doesn't have anything in the view. So it is probable that because we didn't edit in the view, because the view only has a, a trail and there is no object. So I want you to now. Because we 